Now we turn to our local news of the day. Bakersfield's unrelenting heat wave continues to strain PG&E's electrical grid with three major outages in three days in Bakersfield alone, including Sunday's blackout that cut power to some 17,000 customers. 17's Rob Hagen caught up with a downtown business caught in the dark during Sunday's outage. There have been 22 triple-digit days in July with a week to go during Bakersfield's heat wave. There have been three power outages three days in a row and maybe more to come. That possibility still exists. Especially when you don't have a cool down over several consecutive days. Sunday, more than 17,000 homes and businesses had no power. Monday, it was 5,000. Tuesday, another 5,000. Wednesday, PG&E crew members were repairing power lines between Beale Avenue and Dolores Street. Jeff Smith with PG&E said transformers are burning out during the heat storm. We have transformers both on individual homes but also in substations and things like that. And when those transformers don't have an opportunity to cool down much at night because it's still so hot, people are still using a lot of electricity, we do see the occasional equipment fail. Sunday's outage zapped through downtown Bakersfield closing restaurants, cutting performances short, and creating a scare at the Busy Bee Candy Shop on 19th Street. I did have one of our workers in here that night, so the lights kind of shut off on her. She freaked out a little bit because she was in the basement, so you can imagine that already. But Michelle Cooper said a dark basement wasn't the only scare. She said when the power went out, the alarm system shut off too. You never know around here. People break windows. People try to steal stuff. So it's very, it's very concerning, especially with homeless people and all that stuff, because you never know. Cooper said the three-year-old candy shop selling sweet nostalgia has struggled with broken windows and theft, and now they're dealing with a melted American dream from the power outage. Chocolate, obviously, did have a little bit of a struggle. Um, we do have the ice cream as well. The heat wave stretches on, but Cooper said no matter how hot it gets, the Busy Bee will continue to sell cool retro sodas, making us feel like kids again in summer. We're trying to thrive as much as we can. <laughs> it's kind of hard being a small business, but we make it work. Rob Hagan, 17 News.